creator of the number one best-selling Skullduggery Pleasant series, returns with the story of a girl on the run from everything she loves and the monsters that await her. Good day, readers and listeners, and welcome to this, another instalment of Tom's Rapid Reviews. Each week, as you well know, we take a review written by one of our lovely Surrey Library staff. Uh, I give you a bit of context about the book and about its author, and we discuss how our reviewer felt about the book. So without further ado, this week's book is Demon Road by Derek Landy. Uh, and our reviewer this week is Lisa Trevet. Let's get started. Demon Road is the first book in a trilogy uh, begun by the Irish author Derek Landy in 2015 with the publishing of this book. Uh, Follow-ups came in 2016, Desolation and The Final of the Three American Monsters. Landy is best known for the Skullduggery Pleasant series, uh, but has branched out elsewhere with this series, with some writing he's done from Marvel Comics, and a few other things. With Demon Road, though, he sticks with his supernatural themes. Let's see how our reviewer Lisa felt about her trip down to Demon Road. I saw this book, she says, whilst shelving in the library, and thought it looked really good, so I decided to download it. I really liked the story, although it was quite gory in places. This follows the beginning of Amber's journey of discovery. On her 16th birthday, she finds out that she is part of a far larger story, and that she's a demon. After discovering that she is destined to die to fulfil an ancient prophecy, she's on the run with a group of unlikely allies who try to keep her safe and to reach their first safe house. The journey is rife with other demons and magical creatures that they have to battle along the way to escape Amber's parents, who are hell-bent on fulfilling the prophecy. So then, our reviewer enjoyed Demon Road and uh, found it to be an enjoyable read, if a little explicit in its violence. This book is actually in our young adult section, and I think that goes to show that people have different levels of preference and tolerance when it comes to graphic scenes, language, that kind of thing. Um, so having discussed it with Lisa, uh, Tom's Rapid Reviews would like to give Demon Road 4 out of 5. So, a strong score, just kept from the top spot perhaps by the gore, which Lisa found a bit off-putting. But what if you've travelled the Demon Road and you want more? Well, we can help with that. For starters, there are two sequels to Demon Road, that I mentioned earlier, Desolation and American Monsters. On top of that, I've got a couple of other recommendations of young adult, gothic-themed uh, books which might whet your appetite also. Between the Devil and the Deep Blue Sea is a moody, gothic YA romance that was written by April Genevieve Tulhoka in 2013. That may be of interest. Careful though, as there are is at least one other book and a song by Beatle George Harrison with the same title. So if you do come looking for this book, make sure you pick up the right thing. Another potential pick is the YA horror book, There's Someone in Your House. Probably not for those who are shy of gore and a good scare, but this 2017 book is written by Stephanie Perkins and word is it's getting movie adaptation this year. All the books that I've mentioned today, however, can be borrowed from Surrey Libraries. Uh, Demon Road and its first sequel, Desolation, are also available as talking CDs. And as uh, Lisa noted in her review, she read this as an e-book. So, there should be plenty of options to choose from, as well as the broader young adult sections at your local Surrey Library. For now though, I hope your appetite has been whetted it's farewell from me, be safe, borrow books, and I'll catch you next time for another of Tom's Rapid Reviews.